Hey everybody, I'm Russ and welcome to Flashback. Today we're going to be taking a look at Besieger, the Viking RTS. Alright, so without uh, further ado, let's get this thing started. Oh man. <laughs> that, oh, that ogre, did he just get flattened? I, Release me. Uh, Knock out the door if need be. Stand back. I can handle this. Oh, man. Isn't it just great being an ogre? Minding your own business, then the next minute you get flattened by a Viking warship. By Odin's beard, what happened? How did oh, he fall? He's still there. We have seen nothing. His dead body is still there. I do there. not like this. I once saw the work of Sumerian sappers, and I am now reminded of it. But we had no powder barrels on board. So, At any rate, yeah, that's Barmalai. There should be a town nearby. Oh, man. See, I wish I could have shown the uh, opening cutscene, but for some reason it won't play on this new version of, like, this new computer. That sucks. Oh well. At least I can show gameplay. For enemy now. Near. X is ready. Yeah, I, I got Aha. you. I know there's an enemy near. I ain't going near him. Not yet. Let's get everybody in the right formation, first of all. So, this is Besieger. It basically runs as a real time strategy or RTS. You get your little Viking soldiers here. Uh -huh. You create like barricades, what? towns, fortifications, all all sorts of weapons of of war, basically. You know, RTS style like Empire Earth. Uh, -huh. uh what do I else do I know? Command and Conquer, Supreme yeah, Commander, those types. Um, now I can't honestly say that this would really compare to those types of games, but. I love it for its originality and and good taste. You know, you don't see a lot of you don't see a lot of games that include Enemy Vikings near. really. And uh -huh. I've played a fair deal of it back in the past, and I love the technologies that they have, like the old school type of feel. You'll love some of the stuff that I'm able to build. So if you like real time strategies, or you like Vikings, Enemy or you just near. like these types of games in general, stick around because I love some of the stuff that you're uh -huh. able to build and attack the enemies with, and some of the strategies that you can use later on in the game, and I really think you will too. It'll be really fun. Dang, that bubbling cauldron friggin' lake is Enemy near. nasty and loud. Yeah, got I, I got you. Enemy near. I, I understand. But we're avoiding these ogres for now, because uh, the first time I ran this mission, I did it on uh -huh. hardest difficulty instead of normal, which is, it's on normal now. But I did it on hard, and if you attack all of them one at a Vikings, time like you want to, going. eventually Barmalay will be the only one left. Going. And he will probably not He'll make do. it. I, I don't Danny. think he even made it when I did it the first time. Running. Easy now. Yeah, easy. Got you. Barmalay is Behind. the large Viking with the dual-sided um, war axe. That's him right there. Okay. Dual-sided war axe. You know what? No, battle yes, axe. That's a battle axe. I always get them mixed up. Uh -huh. Well, get this. Just a random thought. A war is bigger, and there's Barmalay. That's a good view of him, with his little horns and his big axe. He's like a, he's like a Valkyrie, like a Valkyrie, only a male version of it. But get this. A war is an entire war. A battle is yes. only a small battle. So, or a single battle, no matter how large it is. So, why is it that a battle axe is bigger than a war axe, but a war is bigger than a single battle? Oh, wolves. I didn't even notice those before. Man, those ogres won't shut up. I'm going to get past them real quick. Now, uh -huh. for a large part of the game, I think what you do is you set up town and you just fend off uh -huh. different enemy onslaughts. Right now, I know it's like, oh, he's just running away, but we need to run away in order to try to find a settlement. That's the main thing enemy to do near. is scout the territory right now and try to see what's all around. Billy. It has a really obviously definable uh -huh. path, which pretty much there is almost no deviation from this. You can go around to the left, but Running. that side is pure ocean. That's just all ocean. And on the right, and if you look Enemy on my near. right, you'll see a giant vertical mountain. Running. Easy now. And obviously I'm stuck in like this alley. Ah, freaking stop hitting him. 
going. Going, go, go faster. Going. Um, you, obviously, yes. you'll see that I'm in this freaking valley, and there's not really much else I can go. Is the sun going down? Oh, I ah. forgot, do they have daytime, nighttime cycles out here? That would be so cool. Yeah, I, I want to see daytime, nighttime cycles. That would be so awesome. Go Easy now. I hope they have it. I hope they have daytime, nighttime cycles. I'm going to pay more attention to that from now on. Yeah. I don't know if that's just connected to the storyline or if, or if it has daytime, nighttime cycles. And also, this is basically the storyline, you know. Uh, you didn't get to see me load new game, but this is new game. I just loaded it straight from the very, very, very beginning, I promise. Um, there are skirmish modes where it's literally just you start out at a spot, your enemy starts out at a spot. Uh, you both build up fortifications and attack from there. This is story mode and it has an actual storyline. Oh. Huh. I guess these guys are gonna help now. That's pretty cool. Or I'm gonna help them. So, let's see. Barmalay and one other villager must survive. Or one other attack. So, let's get in there and take down these ogres real quick. Yeah! We are losing men. Oh jeez, we're losing guys. We don't want to be losing guys. Come on, Enemy pull through. Okay, we've got two left. No three. No two. Oh snap! Hey, Barmanle leveled up. He's a one star now. Yeah. Oh, hey, a cutscene. I love cutscenes. We thought this would be our last battle. Odin himself must have sent you to stay our journey to Valhalla. I am glad to arrive at your time of need. But how were you taken unawares? It is a long story and there's no time now. The ogres have captured our brothers and even now prepare to enslave them or serve them up in a feast. We are blood brothers now. Uh -huh. We will not abandon you in your time of need. Barmalay is like a child. We are blood brothers now. <laughs> He's so innocent. We are blood brothers now. Alright, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the opening to the video, and I'll see you all next time on Episode 2. Thanks all for watching. Bye-bye!